Hello everybody, this is the uh, second installment of my uh, uh, building the coil for the uh, a Bedini motor made out of a hard drive. Anyway, um, I wanted to mention uh, from the previous video, uh, this actually works as a great holder of the wires to, you know, be able to slip the rings on and everything just temporarily so uh, you know you it, it's perfect for stuffing the wires to begin with and keeping everything round and sort of straight if you keep it tilted kind of like this it stacks better but you gotta fin finagle and push things and you know it takes a little while and I probably could have stuffed maybe one or two more wires in there but it got pretty tight and so I felt that was good enough and uh, so anyway, it, it's, a, it's a great holder, temporary deal to help you uh, assemble it. And I also wanted to mention about uh, the, making these rings. Uh, I cut these out on my table saw, uh, but I have a real sharp blade and I've got a, you know tight gaps in, in the fence and everything. Uh, you know, you, you these things can end up kicking back in your face real easy, so uh, it's kind of delicate about uh, making these. And I I will make another video uh, just showing you how I made these if you all want me to. You know, so anyway, just want to mention that you got to be real careful uh, making these if you use the table saw. Um, I wanted them nice and clean, so that's why I did it. You could use a bandsaw, which would be much, much safer. Uh, you wouldn't have the kickback and stuff. So anyway, I just want to mention that. So what I've got going here is my bench vise happens to be here, and I happen to have this already made, and I just extended it up and clamped it in there. I threw a couple of um, screws in here and just used a series of washers. So it's real easy to take apart. Uh, I don't screw down, uh, screw this down tight at all. So they just wiggle and jiggle real nice. I got the tip of uh, drilling holes and little pieces of wood. I had these dowels sitting around, so I just went ahead and drilled holes through those and set those. So two separate wires, and then they both come together here. And I'm gonna feed that over to my drill press. Uh, which happens to have a 5 h chuck in it so I can mount this in here which I'll show you on the next video and um, unfortunately I can't uh, reduce the speed down slow enough to really manage the thing as I was trying to pulse the motor and do things it just got me in trouble so I just ended up spinning it by hand and one thing I found out was if you disconnect the belts, uh, it's much easier to spin, so you're not uh, spinning the motor or anything at the same time. So uh, I'm going to get things set up um, in the chuck and get this thing going for the next round. But uh, all you got to do is kind of create some kind of a cradle here, and you just hold this and feed it in as you, as you go. and. The drill press works good, it spins nice and free once you take the belts off, and um, away you go. So, um, I will talk more in the next video. Alright.